All right, guys, welcome back to Southern Extreme TV. Today, I got a really cool episode for you guys. Um, we're gonna be sighting in a brand new CVA Optima muzzleloader. It's gonna be a 50 caliber. Uh, I'm extremely excited about it. It's the first time that I've ever sighted in a CVA uh, muzzleloader. So it should be a good, should be a good day. Um, we're down here on my range right now. My dad is actually bush hogging the, uh, the range for us. You know, the summer, the grass grew up and we just haven't been down here all that much. Um, so we're bush hogging us a path. We're going to lay the uh, gun down in the rest and send some rounds down range. Guys, I've got the CVA uh, Optima topped with a Nikon Pro Staff uh, BDC reticle. So I'm extremely excited to see what this gun is capable of. So guys, stick with me. Let's see, uh, see what we can do. All right, guys, getting ready to load the uh, CVA Optima up. We're going to be shooting 100 grains of powder. We're going to be using a Hornady XTP. Um, Sabot, so we're gonna get this thing loaded up. We haven't shot it just like I said, so we're only gonna be out to about 20 25 yards. Um, try to get it on paper and then we'll just keep e increasing it as we get closer and uh, more dialed in. So, guys, let's uh, get this thing loaded up and see what it'll do. All right, guys, put the first shot down range, about 40 yards, I guess. Um, looks like we're about four inches low and maybe an inch to the left. So we're going to make some adjustments, try to get that thing up there a little bit. Um, we'll put another shot down range and see what it does. Fire in the hole. Then we shot about inch and a half low, about an inch and a half low and about an inch and a half to the right. It's not too bad. Right. We'll get this thing loaded back up. Give me another sabot. Guys, get another primer. Let's put another shot downfield. Fire in a hole. All right, guys, did our first three round group. Uh, about 45, 50 yards, I guess, somewhere in that ballpark. We've forgot the range finder, but stepping it off, we're right there close to it. Um, like I said, our first shot was low. Second shot was right there on it. We made a little bit of an adjustment. Get down here, maybe you guys can see. Got our first shot down here. You see we're about four or five inches low. Second shot, we was about a inch to the right and an inch low. We made a little bit of an adjustment and we came pretty close to knocking the bullseye out. So we're gonna drop it back maybe 20, 30 more yards, do another two or three round group, see how it's shooting. If it's shooting pretty good, we're gonna back it on out to 100. That's where I wanna side it in at. Um, and then we'll just go from there, guys. So see what else it can do. All right, guys, we made some adjustments. Uh, we're out to 100 yards. Pretty sure we got this thing grouping fairly well. 
Um, I want it about an inch high at 100 yards. That's where I want this gun to be shooting at. Um, we fired one last shot, um, and it's exactly an inch high at 100, so I'm going to fire one more, see if we can get it to group um, you know, with that other shot. And if that's the case, we're going to break her down, go wash her, and call it a day. So this should be the last shot, hopefully. So keep those fingers crossed. All right, fire in the hole. All right, guys, wrapping up here. Uh, midday is getting crazy hot. It's like 92, 93 out here. So um, coming down here, shot, got the muzzle loader on paper, um, got it out to 100 yards, and we're grouping really, really well. Um, I mean, as you can see, we've got, you know, four really close shots that's, you know, grouped together in the dead center. Um, we made some adjustments there. I really wanted to be about an inch high um, at 100 yards. We shot at the top right uh, target twice. The one to the left, I felt myself pull on that one, so um, you know I, I fairly positive that, that one was shooter error. So I sent another one down range um, in the bottom left corner, just one to end on, and <clears throat> I was right on. I mean, not quite an inch high, probably about a half an inch uh, high, and I was about three quarters of an inch to the right. I'm okay with that. Um, like I said, I'm, I feel positive that I could sit here and do a, uh, you know, a two round shot, uh, run some patches through the gun, clean it, and I could sit there and I could, you know, put them in that, that vicinity all day. So, um, for me, that's all I needed 100 yards here in Rutherford County, um, North Carolina. We don't have any shots with a muzzleloader um, that's really past 100 yards. You might have some out on some power lines, but around here, um, really, if you can get one sided in at 100 yards at an inch high, you should be able to shoot just about anything uh, with just about any situation that you may come across. Um, I'm, I'm excited about the gun, guys. Like I said, it's the CVA Optima. Um, do a little bit of a correction from what I said earlier on the intro. I said it was a Nikon Pro Staff. It is a Nikon BDC reticle, but it is not the Pro Staff. It is a uh, Bush, uh, Bush Buckmaster or Bushmaster, whatever the, uh, let me flip it over. Yeah, it's the Nikon Buckmaster Edition uh, BDC reticle. So I picked it up, it was on sale. I think I dropped maybe, I think I paid like 80 bucks for it. So um, we've only got a two week season here in Rutherford County uh, for muzzle loaders. So we, we don't use them that much, but it's a good gun to have in case you travel to another state like Ohio, uh, someplace where they only have a muzzle loader or a shotgun season available. Um, like I said guys, gunshot amazing. I'm really excited about it for the price point that the CVA Optima is at. Um, you really can't beat it. Like I said, I've got the thumb hole stock with the stainless steel barrel. Uh, I knew if I wanted to buy a new one, I was going to go with a stainless steel barrel, just help on the cleaning and the ma maintenance of the, of the rifle. Um, but guys, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the way it shot today. I'm fairly pleased. Like I said, it's the first time we've shot it. so. Um, can't really ask for anything else. Um, guys, thanks for watching Southern Extreme TV. I'm sure we'll be uh, posting a couple other videos um, here pretty quick. So stick with us and see what else we have to offer, guys. Season four is just around the corner coming in for uh, whitetail archery. So stay with us and let's see if we can get some decent deer on the ground again this year, following up a big season three. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Blake Myers.